Previously on Uongozi. If you tell a kebaki because he's in power right if now. If he, he let him do his part and we do our part as well. You can't sit in your house enjoying Christmas My part knowing, is just to say peace should be there. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gone. You say you were leading from in front. I think you were leading from in front, but from a position of lying down. We have come to a decision. And we have decided that the person to be eliminated at this point is Evelyn. So far, five contestants, Raymond Ucheng, Jennifer Roby Chacha, Herman Muraguri, Rose Nyasuguta and Evelyn Gakinya have been eliminated. The remaining 11 contestants must fight on to remain in the competition. The winner of Uongozi will get a six-month leadership prize which will include an all-expenses-paid trip to experience six leadership and governance institutes across four continents, Asia, Africa, Europe and North America. A total of 1.2 million shillings stipend over the six-month period and a 3 million shillings grant to implement a public project of their choice. Last week on Uongozi, a new judge, Mumbi Kaigwa, made her debut Debut appearance and she, alongside our two other judges, Tom Boyer and Mweni Lundi, will be sending someone home today. Leo! Leo Welcome back contestants. As has been the case within this process, there are twists and turns. Today is no different. To read out the names of new teams, uh, I will invite my colleagues beginning with Judge Mumbi. The Wazalendo team is composed of Kezia Kiseo, Hardlin Lusui, Zainab Wario, Elizabeth Duya, and Eunice Songa. Kenya Moja team is composed of Felipe Saja, Solomon Wanyama, Enoch uh, Gitau, James Namuyon, Jora Momondi, and Adan Abdallah. Those are the new teams. You may now move to your respective team. And it's going to be a battle of the sexes for this task as the ladies form the new Wazalendo team and the men Kenya Moja. Your task today will be to, do, to develop information education communication material, that is IEC material. Essentially, it is civic education material to explain to Kenyans of voting age in a simple, yet effective manner, the roles of the three new elective positions within the Constitution of Kenya. That is the county governor, the senator, and the ward representative. Your final output should be printed on paper, and the it should be designed in such a way as to be self-explanatory. You will have available to you a graphic designer, as well as copies of the Constitution of Kenya. The material will be tested tomorrow on real Kenyans. The winning team will be that with the most effective material, and that will be determined by the number or percentage of Kenyans who have understood your printed material. With that said, Twendeni Kazi Viongozi. In the upcoming general election of March 2013, Kenyans will be required to vote for six positions. A president and his running mate, a governor, a senator, 
a member of parliament, a woman representative and a county ward representative. The contestants are required to develop civic education material that explains three of these positions. So we're given two tasks first of all to choose a leader and then choose a slogan. So I would like to nominate someone who is passionate, I know is passionate about governance and that kind of thing. And that person is Elizabeth. We are supposed to choose the roles of the county governor, senator, ward and ward representatives. We are supposed to write and present something, a graphic to the people, to the common man. Mm -hmm. So I'll give us the opportunity of picking the slogan. Joram and Elizabeth are the new team leaders, but who will put their team in the forefront? Well, I would want us to uh, uh, strategize on how we want to carry out this task. I propose that the first procedure mm -hmm. is that we look at their functions. We can also highlight on the qualification. Mm -hmm. That is for the three. So I think the first thing is we must uh, agree mm -hmm. the kind of IC material that we are going to use. Mm -hmm. One of the things we should capture is a slogan that motivates the people to vote. Mm -hmm. Okay, and in this case, mm -hmm. there are these two slogans. We have Wongo Zibora and Yukumulako. Mm -hmm. Information, three slogans. Your information is your right, and Wongo Zibora ni Hakiako. I thought of Enimisha Kenya. I'm a Kura Mashinani. New constitution, new leadership. So, new constitution dot new leadership. Or Katiba Mpia, Wongo Okay, my first slogan was like, know your leaders. Mm -hmm. KYL, in short, know your leaders. And then I put it in Kiswahili, Jua Viongozi Wako. First business of the day was to develop a slogan for their communication material. Kenya Moja came up with the Uongozi Bora Nijukumu Langu, while Wazalendo had Know Your Leaders, Jua Viongozi Wako. So put Know Your Leader dot slash. Slash. slash jua viongozi wako. What I know that doesn't work is just text. Mm -hmm. If it's just text, no one is going to read it. If it's more than one page, no one is going to read it. Now we've come up with a slogan. Our slogan is Wongozi Bora, Nijukumu, Langu. We had agreed that uh, the next step we are going to is uh, identifying the type of material that uh, we want to use. Uh, members, we need to make a decision. Um, how many people feel we should go for brochure? We've all given reasons why we want to, we want posters or brochures. Let's not rush into typing fast. Mm -hmm. Let us first highlight the roles. Are you listening, guys? Yeah. The slogans out of the way, the next thing was to decide on the design. The men quickly agreed on a brochure as the way forward. The ladies, however, seem to be having a tougher time. I think the graphics will go and we put fewer words. Yeah. So that if somebody looks at the picture, like maybe we put the picture of the senator, and then the arrows or something like that which will decide and a few words like this is the role of the senator and all that. I thought if we can uh, design something to do with A4 size and then it because the, the background is going to be the background is going to be white. We do the Kenyan the, the Kenyan colors, eh? the bandera, the Kenya the colors of our um, of our national flag. A schematic works better where somebody can just follow what it is. Um, since it's an artistic task um, which is very open to interpretation. We, I think, again, the strong personalities might butt heads, but not as much as, let's say, the guys. So I think the people to watch out for for conflict would be, again, Kazia and maybe Zainab, since they haven't worked very much together. We already know Kazia and how to handle her, let's say, uh, myself and Elizabeth. So maybe let's see Adeline and, and Zainab now interacting with Kazia. This graphic here is a bit complex. I wish we would have a graphic that just shows a chain. We want them to understand where the governor comes in, where the senator comes in. Do you translate? Yeah. You guys with the Swahili language, you guys know Swahili here, yeah. so you yeah, can. Yeah, but there's some. Um, because we're not going to use. We can't use even English. Yeah, okay. Danny. And the same color. Danny, so this, I'm a county. This the outline of the Nini can be. Wazalendo arrives at an uneasy design concept for the designers. How was Kenya Moda faring? I think. I think that perhaps we need to listen. Solomon, we uh, respect your opinion. Yeah. You are reading from the roles of the county government. Mm -hmm. The county government is not about the governor. I would, I would want us to understand that very well, yeah? Mr. Chairman, you should ask if anybody feels like I'm talking sense. Okay, I'm to the chair. Sense, to okay, the chair, I just want to Solomon yeah. feels unheard by the chair and seeks the intervention of the team. Yes, please, if you can just 
download that document and save it in the flash disk. No, no, no. Some people doing the that same that because thing. Because you are reading doing that. and he's typing, it may take us some time. Okay, okay. Lepo, yo, yeah. I request that you move with the group members. Yeah. That document had been submitted to Felipe, he has it. Okay. Kindly move with yeah, the group yeah, members. Yes, yeah? sir. Thank you. Yeah. The leader was the most challenging to deal with because I think he had he had it all set out how he wanted it to go. The hardest person to convince actually, um, I think was um, it was actually Solomon because he could stick to his opinions without changing uh, easily. Leo! Leo! It was going to be a busy day for Kenya Moja and Wazalendo. After having deliberated on their concepts, they then had to meet up with a design team that was going to help them package their civic education material and produce a draft sample all in one day. My name is Georgina Lona. I'm a creative designer if you'd like a graphic designer. My name is Jael Wachia, a graphic designer. Glad to be here. Thank you. Okay, the borders of the design, we wanted to have the Kenyan color, the flag, of, I mean, the colors of the flag of the country. Now we have uh, uh, come up with a slogan, Uongozi Bora Nijukumu Lango. So we will present you with this, then you will uh, go through it and uh, give us guidance. We have decided as a team that we want this information to be presented in a brochure. What size of a brochure do you want to produce? Probably an A4 paper mm -hmm. folded mm -hmm. uh, to capture the information we want. Mm -hmm. Did you yeah. think of any colors that you want to use on your brochure? Uh, well, uh, we had not uh, uh, talked of the colors because we thought that could be then uh, in the, be discussed in the process of designing. We'll work together on the color. And then we had thought about the Kiswahili version of it. So we want, uh, at the back of the paper, we have the Swahili version of all this. Um, you haven't told us the size of the paper. All of it should be in F4. So have you settled on the colors that you would like, apart from the ones that you told me for the national flag? No, we didn't have any color scheme, if I may say. That's why we were maybe that position. We wanted to come and discuss with the people so you can advise. You are the people talking. We can only help you project this. So one more question. Are you giving us the images? Mm -hmm. uh, not really. Kenya Moja had a tough time explaining themselves to the designers. Is it because they were unprepared? The question is here. Then, then the answers are here. So the answers are here. So the question could be, what is the role of my governor? Over at Wazalendo, Eunice is trying to explain the schematic that she came up with and even the designers are finding it a bit complicated. But here we're going to have um, triangles. So this will be a triangle saying County A. And then, then comes down then again, then comes up again. No, because this one, the governor, this is another. This is like going this way, and this one is going this way, because this is the, this is basically the country. Let's do this. Because yeah, maybe you can move to Zeng. I help position. him too. So that you can help. I have no problem with the, the, the text, mm -hmm. but the starting is really cool in the last chapter. Okay, let me go yeah, yeah, do a direct yeah, translation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me yeah. read everything. In county uh, government, is the leader. The leader. Yeah. Yeah. And that is what he said. Which is okay. Yeah, yeah that's uh, okay. That's okay. okay. That's just the draft. We look at it and then you give me feedback and okay. you know where to go from there. Wow. Wow. Uh, we have Usimamia Serikali account and you can see how it is done. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. So is that final? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The designs are done and the teams now have a chance to look at what they came up with. The design has taken shape, but Hadlin does not seem impressed with the product. Maybe we should have suggested this when we were putting the things instead of now. Oh, when, when, we, when we did it, okay, this is oh. what we came up with. But this is okay, the after one, thought. That's that's okay. Okay. Yeah, but now we can't put it. Okay, that's only one part. Day one, task is over. Let's see what the judges and the designers had to say about the teams. I don't feel like they're hungry to win. 
It's almost as if they're holding back. I don't know whether it's the group process that makes it difficult for them to feel as if they're competing. The assignment was um, not a difficult one, but I felt that they didn't use the equipment that they had. I was kind of concerned that they wouldn't have a very concrete or comprehensive thing to share with the designers when the designers came in. I was lost in what they wanted, um, but they came up with some ideas and they had to even do this presentation here. And yeah, you can see clearly this is what I got. Now the competition is clear, it's drawn between two gender and uh, we are out for it. Leo! Leo Day two of the task and the contestants head to Mbotela Estate in Eastlands, Nairobi to test the civic education material they designed on a random selection of residents. Remember, the task required them to design material that would clearly explain to the voter the role of the governor, senator and ward representative. The, the content is complete to the expectation of the members of the group. The final artwork in Wazalendo and Kenya Moja seem pleased with the material. Kenya Moja dive right into the task. And they start off on the wrong footing. Yes, Mama. Habari ya leo? Eh, hiki ni kikundi eh, kinachoitwa Kenya Moja. Eh, tumekuja hapa na uh, karatasi ingine hapa tungependa usome, alafu tukulize maswali machache. Sasa kuna hii karatasi tunapatiana, alafu ukikubali kuna maswali naweza kukuuliza. Unaweza niambia kazi ya governor? Si mwende kwa mwingine tafadhali. Was a Lendo seemed to be coming on too strong and a strategy rethink was necessary, but it seemed without much success. I think we just move away from this person. You no, know, we're so moving away. Yeah. Somebody's asking, yeah. another one is interjecting. We can't do it that it's way. It's okay, you know, guys. Say, no, let's stick to our original plan. If you yeah. approach, if I you approach, do everything, I do everything and finish. Whatever we had agreed, let's stick to that. All right. I approach my two, you approach your two. Okay. okay. Fine. Kama, to hii karatasi ni yako, ungependa kubadilisha chochote. He look on the resources, okay. whether they are being utilized freely. We are hoping to do better, obviously. There is always room for improvement. Uh, perfection is not yet achieved. Let's see what happens. When uh, Eunice came up with the design, you know, we thought it was going to be maybe complicated to people, but at least um, when you try to modify it, then again things went well. While the contestants were doing the rounds, Judge Mweni decided to do her own testing of the material. People would give their honest opinion about that particular document. I mean, you've been working on this docu document and you're taking it round. So it, you might think it's a good um, document. So people want to say it's, it's okay, you know, you can live with it since you've already done it anyway. So a few moments of you're not quite sure if you're getting honest input into the document that uh, they're, they're looking at reviewing. Leo! Leo, Leo!
With the first round of testing, the civic education materials over, the contestants had then to present the same material to a focus group put together by the judges. Each focus group comprised people of different ages, education and literacy levels. We are here today to share with you on a document that we will uh, share, uh, give you. Just read it to understand what it is or what is in, is in it. And then now uh, we'll have uh, um, my colleagues here asking you questions uh, based on your observation. And now I want to welcome questions from my colleagues. Now we can ask questions. Uh, I just wanted you to answer, to tell me the roles of um, Senator according to the what you have read from the document that we had uh, given to you earlier. The president wants to scrap out the county. The Senate, they have a word. They say they have, they have to approve whether the, the president has the money or it is quite in order that the, 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 the county government should be scrapped out. It was time for another reality check as the contestant's design was scrutinized by the focus group. It is not disability friendly. Why don't you put the flag, let it look like a Kenyan flag, so that uh, our children and even the old people will be able to identify very fast and say this is the national flag. The way you try to shorten your explanation, huh? mm -hmm. it's not detailed. Mm -hmm. Whereby you'll find that uh, the role of the governor, the governor itself, mm -hmm. if that all I can reflect back in English, yes. it seems as if it's wanting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is wanting. For to make somebody to understand, mm -hmm. it's a little bit wanting. I want to appreciate you for your time, taking your time to come and get down with us to help us uh, improve our document. They came up with Swahili, and personally, it's hard for me to read Swahili. I only understood two to three lines. Next was Wazalendo. How would they fare? Karibuni sana katika hii discussion. Mbele yenu ni wana Wazalendo kutoka uongozi. Tungependa muangalie hizo karatasi kwa dakika tano. Alafu kuna maswali ambayo tutaenda kuwauliza. Baada hapo tutawapatia tuta nafasi nyinyi pia mtuulize maswali. Can you explain to us the roles of one, we have three people here, a governor, a senator, and ward representative? Out of the 47 counties, tutakuwa na senator ambaye atakuwa na represent county yake katika lile bunge la senate. Na yeye ni mwakilishi wa rasilimali zote ambaye yeye ndio ataongoza revenue, ile ugatuzi wa revenue katika county, ili sasa imuende, iwaende hawa wengine. Governor atakuwa executive principal wa county ambaye nae atasimamia county kule mashinani. From this document that we have given you, does it look appealing and why? Ni hile tu ukubwa na maandishi ya toke vile natakiwa itoke ndiweza kupatikana katika kukiangalia juu sana imejificha sana ndani kikiwa hivyo sitaielewa haraka but ule wa pale atajaribu ukijaribu kumuongelesha atajua oh mali niko i can understand na nitakuwa rais atakuwa rais kunisikiza but kikiwa hivyo i need to sisi uma tunapashwa sana kuelimisha watu wetu kutoka yani grass level grassroot level Manake, tuna watu pale chini, wana uwezo, na wanaweza kuenda ku lead pale mbele. We are targeting a people, not just the educated, also targeting the people who can't read. So a lot of that, the document, you really had to read it uh, to, to come out with anything. I would have been looking for more of a picture speak than, than a fully worded document like that. Leo, Leo, Leo. The task is over. It was time to head to the Situation Room where someone would be going home. Coming up on Uongozi. At what point then do you decide 
that other people are not going to present their ideas. They felt that the idea was not going to drive us towards what was expected. I was very frustrated. Even her statement right now, as I and Elizabeth worked on the constitution. Okay, I don't understand it at all. Leo. Congratulations on having completed the task that was set for you. Uh, you can see at the back of the room the, the fruits of your labor. I'd like now to take the opportunity to invite my co-judges to reveal the effectiveness of your material on the sample that was carried out yesterday. You selected, in your random group, you selected six men and nine women. Six of these people were in their 30s, four of them were in their 40s, one was in their 50s, and four were in their 20s. On the question of how many understood the roles of the three officers, senator, governor, and ward representative, we found that five of the people you approached fairly understood one role, and 10 did not understand any of the roles. For Kenya Moja team, you interviewed a total of uh, 16 people, though four had to be nullified because remember this was at the point where you were still asking them to refer to the document as opposed to trying to remember what they read in the document. Uh, in terms of age, there was one person around the age group of 40, one around 53 years of age and the majority were between 20 and 30 years of age. From this group, three people understood very well the content of the material that you had. Four had a fair understanding of what, was the, what were the roles of the three positions noted in the brochure. And two had an average understanding of the material that was put in the brochure. Three did not understand at all. The winner of the task that had been set to you is Kenya Moja. And the men have won this round and the ladies will now have to answer some hard questions from the judges. The first thing I would like to do is to invite uh, <coughs> the team leaders from both teams uh, to give us their feedback from how things went on the task. We didn't have a difficult time coming up with the design. We were all basically in agreement that we wanted our design to look like that. We picked the colors of the national flag, and also we wanted people to understand how the senatorship comes up, that it's from the parliament, that it is divided into two. Kenya Moja. We had our first uh, uh, presentation to general public, and that was an ad hoc selection of audience, where we had uh, a key informant with the audience at every stage. Uh, after that, we proceeded to the uh, focus group discussion. At the focus group discussion, it was not only sharing, but we had an opportunity to even learn much more. In terms of being a leader, I didn't know where your leadership, it was not apparent to me what your leadership role was. There was no guidance, there was no assi assigning of roles to your various team members. And Elizabeth, was taken to task on her leadership skills. And I'm not sure whether you allowed other members of your team a chance to say, I would like to do a banner or... I think it was a miscalculation on, on the team, all of us, because we why were all... The, why all of you? My question is, at what point then do you decide that other people are not going to present their ideas? And Eunice, Eunice's idea is the only one that is brought out to be shared by the rest of the group. Since Eunice stood up and presented her idea, most of the team members took it. I raised an issue and said, it's a nice diagram, it can be understood, but if it had taken us time to be explained to, what about somebody we were going to give and read on their own? The first one I drew it, they didn't understand it. Maybe I think it was, um, Zaina was trying to say that, well, we can put some pictures inside, so she kind of got it. So I tried to again explain it, and when nobody said, okay, if, nobody said, okay, if I don't understand it at all, I don't think we should do it, like it was a clear no, let's try something else. I assume that they've taken um, the idea on board and that's what we're going to work with. And at no point did anyone say, I don't like this idea at all. 
And it seems Pandora's box had been opened and Zainab had a lot to say about Eunice and Elizabeth. It was Eunice Elizabeth, Eunice Elizabeth, it was so clear. Even her statement right now as I and Elizabeth worked on the constitution. You see, I, I'm having a problem with you complaining about the, uh, the team leader and yet nothing seems to have been done by the members who are complaining about it. What was your responsibility, Hadley, when the team leader did not listen to you, what did you do? Indeed, there was a leadership problem in our group as at yesterday. Nothing was agreed and even the few we agreed on, we went on breaching every other time. At one point in time, we just decided, okay, let's just do it because we have to do it. But we kept breaching each and every rule, even the ones we set ourselves. It seems like everybody sat back and decided, let's let the group fail. Okay. Let's not work as a team. We're not working as a team. Let's not try too okay. hard. The time wasn't there with us, so we're all trying to multitask and bring up things together. Maybe if... So it, wasn't clear, so it wasn't clear who should be doing what? Yeah, it wasn't clear who should be doing what, but we were consulting. We were consulting. While Kenya Moja may have won the task, they were not going to escape Judge Mweni's keen eye. To go back to something you said, Joram, as a team leader, and you said that the group was speaking in one voice, which I know for a fact is not true. Uh, one time, <clears throat> you had issues with Solomon and next with Aidan and became a dictator. Why? I purpose to stick to the instructions that were in our rules. And so when Solomon brought an idea, and I felt that the idea was not going to drive us towards what was expected, I differed with him, but in a very dip uh, diplomatic way. And Solomon had a bone to pick with Joram. I was very frustrated, Judge, because yes, the task sheet was clear. It was saying that we should identify the roles. But then it wasn't just about the roles alone. It was about voter education. And so when, okay, let me say my team leader, when he was specific that we look at the roles and then what eventually occurred was that we were copy pasting the roles. When the rest of the members spoke, they said, uh, they did not support the, the, the argument that you had, but you still insisted. I, I don't think whether at one point Joram involved the members, because that, that is what I was looking for. And in fact, my question was, do I make sense to you? And it was like Joram telling me, okay, these are the roles, let's do this. I had a valid, a valid, a valid, I thought I had a valid opinion toward the task. And, uh, I was passionate about, one thing I was passionate about is putting the flag there. And I wanted to raise it as, as quickly as possible so that it resonates well with the group. When I raised my hand, Jorab decided to, I, I decided to shut me down. And Felipe talks himself into a fix. Do you think the job that you volunteered for helped the group move faster? I or did my best. I did my best. Because your best uh, did, do you think I the did. job that you took? Exactly. If, if at all I didn't do that, uh, maybe we, we couldn't have had uh, 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 an end product as a document. But you didn't have an end product printed by the end of the task. It's true. Why is that if you did your best and if you felt that you were the best one for the job? Um, uh, we, I assigned somebody else to print the document because uh, Oh. That's a lame excuse, Philip. To type Why in. Can't? There I was no that. presentation to give to the designer. I accept that, it's true. Yes? Yeah. Team leader, is that true? Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. and uh, without confusion, is that true that there was no presentation to give to the designer from the team? Yeah, there was no printed uh, presentation to be presented to the designer. There was no concept developed yeah. to present yeah. to the designer. Is that true? Uh, As a group? As a group? I accept. Okay. Joram, on the other hand, tries to get clever until Judge Tom confronts him with the evidence. Well, um, that was uh, just a, a diagram sketch. <laughs> You're so, still smiling, oh, Joram. Oh. You know why. It's a diagram <laughs> sketch of what exactly? Is laughing. <laughs> right, it is that. Enoch finds himself in trouble. Why do you need to read out hmm. to Felipe? What, why can't he read and type? What, um, what I was, is this I was, reading out loud? I was just searching out, I was searching out the role of the Senate in the Constitution. Uh, while everybody else was talking about content or the translation, what was your contribution at that point? You were not translating, you were not helping in um, developing the, or, or, or putting forward the, the, the content. 
at this particular point. What was your role? Well, um, in the brochure, I had, I remember I'd come up with the idea of then having a landscape, a Kenyan landscape at the back of, of the brochure, which was rejected by the group members. Remember the idea was thrown out, not because they rejected your idea, but there was no back page to put a landscape. Yeah, that, okay. I was, I was the link between, I remember being the link between Solo and James because um, I, 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 I needed sanity and we needed sanity as a group. Uh, Why did they need a link between them? Mm. A you link you between mediator for the group. Uh, not really a mediator. I think mm. a mediator is a strong word, mm -hmm. but a kind of um, a helper, kind of a person, because uh, Solo was with a computer and James was on this other side. That and then I was between them, so that uh, uh, in case of maybe any confusion or. Uh, a point of clarification, then I would be able to help on that also. But how so. are you helping when what your statement was three quarters of the time during that task was uh, I'm not agreeing or disagreeing. I'm not rejecting or ac accepting. You took a ground that does not put you anywhere. <coughs> Kazia, why did you keep interrupting your colleagues when they were trying to ask their question? The Kiswahili part written is not the same as spoken. And uh, while we are outside there trying to rephrase the questions which we were supposed to ask our interviewers, interviewees, it, we had not turned them into Swahili. And there's no love lost between Kezia and Eunice. One person goes and we even said that one, each person will have two people, two people, two people. So it got to the point that maybe she had more of the share of speaking because of her personality. Um, and also because maybe because her Swahili not saying better, but maybe comes out easier. But yes, I agree. It was both an advantage and a disadvantage to, to the team. Thank you very much, contestants. The judges will now deliberate, so you should feel free to now leave the situation. It seems we have, uh, for the first time, very open descent in the ranks. Mm -hmm. For sure. I think <laughs> this time round, especially for the Wazalendo team, there was no team to talk about. Yeah. There was no team there to talk about. Yeah. yeah. If she felt that the leadership was biased, she basically said then she wouldn't. She didn't seem to. And I think this goes for the other members as well. Nobody else then put in their best foot forward yeah. to get to try and succeed in the task. I think I had they basically just said, ah, yeah. okay, let's fail. Let's sort out our leader. The the material itself is so complicated. Mm -hmm that they were already at a disadvantage mm -hmm. because the material has too much information. Mm -hmm. And because it has too much information, even when they went out into the field, it was, it was just, you know, difficult for people to take in. But they didn't actually answer the question that was asked to them. Mm -hmm. which was yeah. simply, what are the roles of the three elective positions? Mm -hmm. They came up with, you know, with the devolved government, mm. uh, which is, you know, they went, I we think they went overboard. Off. From Wazalendo, uh, you know, Elizabeth's leadership was an issue. Mm -hmm. It was a problem and something that just about every member of the group uh, picked up on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then cost them the win. Yeah. And ended up costing really them the win, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Solomon's contribution was more positive because it was something he believed in. Mm. It was a contribution he made that he felt would move the group it forward. It was actually a contribution. It was a contribution. Than... Yeah. Enoch did not contribute. I, mm. he, for me, he was mm. totally outside of the task. How do you keep coming up with a statement? Uh, I'm, I'm not rejecting or accepting. I, so you're not doing what anything. What are you doing? You're not actually then doing anything. Don't say you're anything. Just, anything. You're just <laughs> making your voice heard exactly. for the sake of. Exactly. Yeah. That's the, when he said he was going to find the, the roles of the three people, of the three positions in the constitution. And people waited for him to find this. And he just kept going through the constitution and going through it and not finding it. Hmm. So finally, mm -hmm. that's when uh, the team leader went onto the net and found the document that they were looking um, that helped them to try and get, come, come with the roles. Mm -hmm. So he didn't do, he didn't, he basically didn't help. We all have limitations and there's nothing wrong with accepting that I wasn't able to do much with this task and, you know, acknowledging that as a human being, you don't have to be all knowing and... No, you can't. You know? Nobody is. I think we have the matter resolved. I think we mm -hmm. do. I think we do. Leo! Leo! Die. It was time for the judges to decide who they would be sending home. Before we deliver the verdicts, I'll ask my co-judges to make uh, a few closing remarks. Judge Mweni. Uh, Kenya Moja, you did, did not prepare w well enough. Your time ran out, team leader. Solomon, 
a major part of the loss of that time was due to the argument that you got involved with with a team leader. Uh, the second thing that happened was with the presentation, team leader. You did not have a presentation to give to the designer. And you are fortunate that your designer was a very good listener because the gibberish that you did on the, on the flip chat was of no help in terms of explaining what your concept was. Enoch, you did not contribute anything to this group apart from talking. We are not just here to be heard. We are here to accomplish something. And for every task, that is what you should be keeping at the top of your mind. Aidan, just because you have a burning idea, it does not mean your team members do not have burning ideas as well. You're not the only one who has an idea in a group. In general, yes, you completed the task. And I think as goes for the other group as well, I think for me, one of the things that came up is our use of the language of Kiswahili. Bona ni lazima ni kisoma brochure yenu, ama ni angalie posta ambayo wazalendo walitengeza. Lazima ni tafute kamusi. Uh, Wazalendo, <clears throat> you're the losing team. Um, Elizabeth, you didn't hold your team together. You didn't hold them accountable. You didn't assign them tasks. You just hoped that people were doing the jobs that they were supposed to do. You kept imposing yourself and your personality, which yes, is a good personality to be friendly, but if it then is compromising the work that is the teamwork, then it's not working very well for the team. Eunice, you prepared a wonderful piece of art, but it did not go to the demands of the task. I know you were trying to make it pictorial. It then still had too many words, and, and this was one of the reasons why I think your, um, <clears throat> your material was not very easy to be understood. Zainab and Hadlin, you both had reservations, but you didn't voice them. And this is one of the things that we do sometimes as women. I feel that you weren't vocal enough. And I think that all of you have something to look at. I have to commend uh, Kenya Moja for one thing that they did, which I thought uh, was an important part of the discussion in terms of developing their IEC material. And I know that one of the options you looked at in terms of translation was the issue of having a braille version of the, of the document, of your brochure. And uh, the only reason that did not become an option because of, was because of the time factor and the technicalities that would be involved in trying to develop the Braille version with the designer that they had. So that was a discussion they had, even though there's no product to show that uh, it was one of the options they looked at. This was a task that was largely about creating civic education material for the general public. I hope that with what you've learned, you'll be able to continue to engage with others out there on what you have learned and not imagine that this is something that was, you know, just a task uh, and, and now it's over and, you know, we can forget about it. The judges have deliberated and we have decided that the person going home following this task is Enoch. The rest of you live to fight another day. Congratulations to the winning team. Enjoy your reward. You may now leave the Situation Room. Nacho is a kumbia ni sorry. Vumili ana wilte shinda. Kwani mati so yana pita ah ah ah. I don't give up. I've never had. It's not the first competition I'm in. I'm only mean. Um, age is never a reason for anything. But I mean, I still have a long way to go. I'm only 25. I turned 25 yesterday, so it's all good. It's all good. It was a good experience uh, because at the end of the day, um, I learned a lot. Yeah, and I got some new connections too. Yeah. Leo. Leo. And the men go for the game drive with clear expectations. I expect to see a Simba, a Chewy, <laughs> and a Giraffe. <laughs> I think I'm going to see uh, Hyena. We have Hyenas in our home, Nyamila. <laughs> I want to see it now live, live. Hey, yeah. mm.
Uh, our kettles are starving and there are lots of grass yes. here, brother. <laughs> For monkeys eh? and the baboons. <laughs> For baboons. <laughs> our cover <laughs> every, every now and then our kettles are dying. Nice. In hundreds. Back away from you. 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 Back away Bull. 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 Next time on Uongozi. To continue this conversation, go to www.uongozi.co.ke or you can like our Facebook page Uongozi Kenya or follow us on Twitter at Uongozi254. Senator. The role of the Senator will be to represent county interests at a national level by debating and approving laws that concern the counties in the National Assembly. Governor. The Governor is elected directly by people in the county and rules over the county government. County Ward Representative. The person will be elected by registered voters in respective wards and will seat in the county assembly.